everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me. Today I have a project to share with you using some new goodies that came out in the Splash of Color release. We're making a Hello Thinking of You beachy sunshiny card. I'm starting with this sun die. Came out of the Hello Sunshine die collection. I'm die cutting that into a panel of Nina Solar White kind of cropping it off to the side because I'm cool like that and cropping is cool beans. And you know you're cool when you say cool beans. Sometimes with my kids I say, oh goody goody gumdrops and cool beans and especially my freshman, my daughter that's 14, she rolls her eyes, she's like, that is so not cool mom to say cool beans and goody goody gumdrops. But you know what, back in the day that was cool. And uh, you know, so I'm just gonna go with. So behind the sunshine die cut little opening, we're gonna do some ink blending on my card base. And I'm starting with Duckling. I'm using my little Ranger mini ink blenders, my favorite tools. And then we're gonna add a little melon on the bottom. And you know, I always like to just do a little ombre if I can. So a little melon into a little duckling and it's just perfection. Working those back and forth until I can get kind of a seamless blend. And you'll see how that looks right there. It's gorgeous. So now we're moving on to the waves. I'm using one of the waves that came out of the, what's it called, waves border die collection. You get three different styles of waves. And I'm going to just make two little wave panels and we're going to pop those up on the bottom of our sun, kind of making a beachy, serene, calming, thinking of you card. And then I'll use the scraps, I'm trying to use every little bit of Nina Solar White. You know, when I'm using my Nina Solar White, that's like gold. I buy a ream of it and I love it and I cherish it and I do not take it for granted. So if you can use a scrap, please do that. Be kind to your Nina. Okay, so we're going to add a little ink blending to these waves. Now you could just easily just die cut your wave out of some blue cardstock, but that would be easy. And I never do things easy. I like to do things hard. So I'm doing a little spring rain ink blending. Plus I love these colors, spring rain. It's just so gorgeous. It's just, it goes great with the sun color. See that? It's just dreamy. And then for the other wave, we're going to go a little darker. And also, I want to say you could ink blend before you die cut if you want to do that too, but then that would mean you'd have to think ahead. Thinking ahead is really not my strength. So for this one, we're using scuba, or I like to call it scuba dooba doo. -ba -doo. But back to thinking ahead, I'm not really good at it. And that's why my mom always tells me, Laura, you are not using your crock pot to its fullest potential. You need to give yourself a break and put something in the crock pot and make dinner time so much easier. But my problem is, I'm not a think aheader. And at seven or eight o'clock in the morning, I am not thinking about large chunks of meat. But my kids love, they love, love, love this uh, like Italian beef I make. You know, buy some of that Jimmy John's bread and you put it on there and it's just, oh, so good. It really does make dinner time easier if I would start to utilize my crock pot, like my mother says. And I just, one of those things I need to improve on. Okay. I don't know how I got talking about food. I always get talking about food, but we are adhering our waves. I'm adding a little foam adhesive to the first one, but the second one just kind of keeping it flush. I don't want to make this car get too thick. Sometimes I can get carried away with my dimension. I like dimension. I'm not going to lie. It can make mailing a little difficult, but you know when I'm creating, I don't want to stifle my creativity because I enjoy dimension. So once we get those waves adhered on, trim off the excess and we're moving on to the word die cut. This is the painted hello. Three of these, uh, word die cuts came out in the splash of color release and i really love the font of this what's it called painted word dies i think it's fabulous i stacked four of those together using my tombow mono adhesive and then i take my little retractable needle kind of go around smooth out any little rough edges i'm going to add a little ink blending to this as well using hollyhock and twirling tutu i thought this pinky color was just a fabulous contrast to the waves and the sun and i i'm really getting into making thinking of you cards because i think it's great to send someone unexpectedly a card that you're thinking of them you know for no occasion and um, did I mention that today all five of my kids are in school today was the first day of school all five of them they're gone the house is silent I don't know what to do with myself 
I don't know if I should go for a walk, a vacuum, go get groceries, get some work done. I mean, the options are endless right now and I've got nobody to distract me. And so I'll probably sit here and get nothing done. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so we're finishing up this card, adhering the sentiments, and then for a little something, something, a few sequins, I'm using some pretty pink posh. This one here, I believe it's watermelon. I love the four millimeter size. I think they're so cutie patootie. So this card is finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.